nothing dumb to do Hey baby, I think I want to marry you My only sunshine You make me happy When the sky is gray Well, ladies and gentlemen, a formal good afternoon to you all. We are here to celebrate the marriage of Chantal and Alex. And on their behalf, I welcome you here to the Chevin Country Park Hotel. You are here to witness the joining in matrimony of Chantal Ellen Stead and Alexander Matthew Brown. If any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, he or she should declare it now. Well, you chose the right crowd. <laughs> they say that sometimes love starts with a spark, and that might be true. But if I were to wish you a love, I wouldn't wish fire for you. You see, fire is powerful. It burns bright, then it's gone. It's beautiful and warm, but it doesn't last long. So instead of wishing you a love that burns, I wish you love like a river that twists and turns. It changes and flows, it's powerful and free, but it consistently finds its way back to the sea. And so, like the water, I hope your love is ever growing, ever changing. I hope that your love is powerful and free. And may you always find each other like the river finds the sea. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. That was lovely. Now, I'm going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you know of no lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. And Alex, you very kindly volunteered before when we spoke before to go first. Yeah. So, you still willing to go first? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, go. Please say these <coughs> words after me. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any. Of any. Lawful impediment. Lawful impediment. Why I. Why I. Alexander Matthew Brown. Alexander Matthew Brown. May not be joined. May not be joined. In matrimony. In matrimony. To Chantelle Ellen Stead. To Chantelle Ellen Stead. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any. Of any. Lawful impediment. Lawful impediment. Why I. Why I. Chantelle Ellen Stead. Chantelle Ellen Stead. May not be joined. May not be joined. In matrimony. In matrimony. To Alexander Matthew Brown. To Alexander Matthew Brown. Johnny, would you please go and stand there in the middle <laughs> and await my next request? Because. Alex and Chantal, at this point in the ceremony, you're going to make your vows and give each other a ring. Exchanging rings is a traditional way of sealing the contract that you are just about to make with each other. The wedding ring is a circle. It has no beginning and no end, and it is a symbol of your everlasting love. Alex, please take the ring. Please remain there, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Chantal, I call upon. Chantal, I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Alexander Matthew Brown. Alexander Matthew Brown. Do take thee. Do take thee. Chantal Ellen Stead. Chantal Ellen Stead. To be my lawful. To be my lawful. Wedded wife. Wedded wife. I promise. I promise. To love and care for you. To love and care for you. And to be faithful. And to be faithful. To you always. To you always. Chantelle, I give you this ring. Chantelle, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. As a lasting reminder. As a lasting reminder. Of the vows. Of the vows. We are making today. Of the vows we are making today. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of all that we share. Of all that we share. Now and always. Now and always. Gently does it. Just a bit. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah. Alex, I call upon. 
Alex, I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Chantelle Ellenstead. Chantelle Ellenstead. Do take thee. Do take thee. Alexander Matthew Brown. Alexander Matthew Brown. To be my lawful. To be my lawful. Wedded husband. Wedded husband. I promise. I promise. To love and care for you. To love and care for you. And to be faithful. And to be faithful. To you always. To you always. Alex, I give you this ring. Alex, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. As a lasting reminder. As a lasting reminder. Of the vows. Of the vows. We are making today. We are making today. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of all that we share. Of all that we share. Now and always. Now and always. Mm -hmm. Chantelle and Alex, you have both made the declarations prescribed <coughs> by law and have made a solemn and binding contract in the presence of your witnesses, the registrar, and myself as required by law. We all hope you have a long and happy married life together and that this is a moment whose memory you always cherish. Alex and Chantelle, it gives me very great pleasure to declare <laughs> that you are husband and wife, you are legally married, and you may kiss. <laughs> Helen Alex Leeds and Bradford's newest newlyweds, <laughs> the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Brown. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Steve. <laughs> no, it's Brown. It's Brown. Oh, Brown. <laughs> what are you doing? What? Chantal, Alex, so I say a huge congratulations to your wedding day. We're very honoured to be here and, yeah, very pleased to be celebrating this day with you, with your closest and dearest. Cheers. We love Cheers. you. We love Cheers. you. Thank you so much. Massive congrats, congratulations. Alex. Congratulations. Well done. And welcome to the Newlyweds Club. Thank you so much for including us on your special day. Yes, yeah, lovely day, fantastic day, and we hope you have an amazing life together. Cheers. Cheers. Congratulations on your wedding day. It's been brilliant to be invited to your wedding day. And I've right enjoyed it, and I hope you have the most loveliest life going. Congratulations, Alex and Chantel. Thank you so much for inviting me to be, to be a part of the day. Uh, I've had such an amazing time so far. I'm sure we will continue to have fun. Uh, thank you for also letting me part host the hen party. Uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry that I fed you so many shots um, when we came back to my flat, and I'm sorry for the way that everyone felt the next day, but hopefully it was worth it. Uh, and uh, echoing Andrew's thoughts, I hope you have the best life together uh, with your little family forevermore.
now time for the speeches, so please welcome first the best man, Johnny. So we, we had actually spoken a couple of times over gaming channels before, uh, before actually getting to meet each other. Um, and the first time was actually in one of the music production studios at the university. Um, Alex and Annabelle had been tasked with uh, recreating the soundscape of a Star Wars scene. And it was only a couple of minutes long. Watched it, listened to it, and it did make me think, wow, George Lucas did a really good job the first time round. <laughs> Well, no, our, our friendship very much flourished from there. Um, we quickly realised we had a number of shared interests, uh, music, DJing, gaming, good food, occasional visit to the casino. Um, one of us was significantly more successful than, uh, than one of us. I'll, your bank balance definitely went up a lot more than mine did. Um, we also kept Dinnerbox, our local Chinese in business, for a good year or two, I reckon. Um, um, weirdly, we had a conversation about it this week, so it, it lives in fond memories. Um, and we utilised the £1 Sunday buffet at the casino to great effect as well. <laughs> very, very savvy students. Um, we also started a little kind of side venture as well, providing uh, parties to students uh, throughout our second and third year, I think it was. Again, made us a little bit of money. Um, but it also nearly got us in a spot of bother as well. Um, a couple of years ago, uh, a couple of years, sorry, after leaving university, a flyer of ours was found in the basement of a student house. Um, where was that? In, was it Bradford? I think it could have been Bradford. Um, and uh, obviously the, the tenant had not really trekked the house very well by the looks of it. So um, a solicitor's call out of the blue to Alex's mobile um, saying we're going to have to come after you for certain things. But oh, it's OK. Swiftly handled. He used his Yorkshire bloodline. Bit of northern negotiation. No thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> Crisis averted. Well done, Alex. <laughs> Uh, it was shortly after this that Alex had told me he'd found a partner, um, enter the lovely Chantel. Uh, it was clear from the start Chantel was a really amazing addition to Alex's life. Our friendship group could see he was very, very happy. Um, before the world came to a halt, we actually managed all three of us to grab a drink in Leeds. Um, it was the first time I've met Chantel. It was a, a lovely, lovely experience. Um, Going to be honest, in my excitement, I may have had one too many shandies that afternoon. Um, but Chantel had my back on that one. She made sure that we were, or oh, I was anyway, tucked up safely in their spare bed at home that evening. So thank you for having my back on that one. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> um, we then got the chance to reconnect at Ivy's first birthday. Um, it was a really, really nice opportunity to see firsthand how your family unit was evolving. Um, it clearly had strengthened the bond between you both as well. Um, and we can't forget Sully, the uh, larger than life character who has been the latest addition to your household. Now, I nearly forgot to mention the stag do. Any tension in there? No, no. Uh, no, it, it was a really, really good afternoon, to be fair. Um, we really enjoyed it. We spent a, a couple of hours in Leeds, and there's a, a couple of gents here who were there as well, so thank you very much for coming to do so. Um, we didn't quite manage to fulfil one of Alex's biggest dreams, because um, he's always wanted to visit some of the hard rock cafes, or all of the hard rock cafes in the world, actually. So, uh, Chantel, I'll let you take the reins on that one as well. So here we are on your wedding day. Um, so, ladies and gents, if you can grab the drink that's been put in front of you. Um, I'd like to make a toast uh, to the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Brown. Brilliant, forgot my own drink. That is just standard, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> well, no, Alex, it was a bit of a surprise, really, when you asked me to be best man. I think my, uh, my, my uh, reaction was a, a bit odd. I had to send you a text the day later. But I really, really am honoured to have been part of yours and Chantel's big day. Um, you have been a fantastic friends over the years. We, uh, we've had some good, good laughs along the way as well. Um, and I'm really, really delighted that you found a wonderful soul in Chantel to spend the rest of your life with. So congratulations to you both. Thank you.
congratulations both of you. Big congratulations to Mr and Mrs Brown. Thank you so much for inviting us to your special day and making me best man. It's been a really, really good experience to share your good experience with you as well. Um, and we both wish you a long and lifelong partnership and I'm sure many more adventures as well. Yeah, thank you. We really didn't know what to expect today, but it's been really lovely, really authentic, full of activities. Alex hasn't had two minutes off, bless him. Um, we've really, really enjoyed it. It's been gorgeous to see all your family and friends, so thank you for um, including us. Congratulations, Chantal and Alex. Um, we're blessed that we're here today with you to celebrate your day. Hope you're as happy and blessed as Grandad and I, 58 years. Yeah. Congratulations Alex, Alex and Chantel. And if you have if you have as good fight like me and your hands up for the last 58 here, you won't do bad. <laughs> Congratulations Alex and Chantel. Chantel. Hope you have a nice time and a nice life. Hello Chantel and Alex, it's so we're so happy to be part of your special day today. I'm so proud. Um, you make a great couple. And um, we love you a bit, don't yeah, we? Yeah, health and happiness for the future. Yeah. Hi, Alex and Chantelle. Well, what a gorgeous day. Lucky with the weather and beautiful couple. And we're so glad that you found each other. You're so happy together. And that's all that matters to us with little Ivy. We've had a great day. We love you both so much. And we can't wait to spend more time with you and have lots of fun and adventures together. So as usual, Mum has taken all the best lines. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just echo what, what she said. We have had a great day and it was, we're so proud of you all. And where's Sully? That's what I want to Yeah, know. we want to see Sully. We want to see <laughs> Sully. So please, we hope to see him later. But um, yes, well done. Congratulations. And don't forget, we're always here for you. Whatever you need, anytime, any place, anywhere. We love you both. Lots of love to you and little Ivy. And, and so. And so. <laughs> so Yay. Yay. Okay, I'm Lou, uh, unlikely best friend of the bride, and I'm honoured to share a few words about the happy couple. It's been amazing to be a part of this special day, and it's lovely to see how many people have turned out to celebrate this epping, ep, epping, epic relationship. I can't read my own writing, my own typing, that is destined to last forever. Um, I struggled to find the words to put into this speech, so I thought what might be best as a musical theatre performer to express my love for you both through the medium of song. So I don't have a speaker, I've decided to go a cappella, so I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna do that, that'll be hard. <laughs> Literally everybody would leave, so. Um, what I will do is share some, um, some stories about the happy couple, which will not all, uh, all be embarrassing in any way, shape or form. So uh, you may have noted that I said unlikely best friend of the bride, because our friendship has been the most unconventional trajectory known to man. It didn't dawn on us how weird and wonderfully insane it's been until the other bridesmaids asked how we actually knew each other while we partook in some uh, pre-drag bar shots on the Hindu. Um, I know that Alex won't mind me saying this because he's the most chill gentleman that you probably have the pleasure of knowing, but me and Chantel did actually meet through a, a previous relationship of hers. Um, another good friend of mine met a lady while I was studying abroad, and when I got back, introduced us. And it was um, an interesting introduction, to say the least. Uh, lots and lots of wine, and later on, tequila got involved, but neither we really took part in the tequila. <laughs> Um, Chantelle, however, pretty much polished off about half to three quarters of the bottle. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, I was, I was impressed. I, uh, I admired her spirit. I'd never seen someone have such an intense relationship with the floor. And uh, it was the first time that I'd had an introduction with somebody that involved holding their hair back while they had a bit of a vom down the toilet. And then uh, once she'd gone to bed, the inevitable question came, uh, was... Uh, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I genuinely did mean it because from that point, many crazy nights and fun days out were had and it didn't all end in a, a bunch of throwing up. <laughs> so I will say that Chantelle's ability to turn every night epic became the stuff of legends. In fact, she developed a bit of a, uh, a catchphrase. We knew that it wasn't going to be a quiet one when the words, let's make a night of it, were uttered. And many a nights of it we did make. 
We were a little bit scuppered from doing that on my 30th birthday when we entered that lovely tiered system when we most definitely didn't break lockdown rules by travelling from Lisa York for a uh, substantial meal. Um, I did think what made my turning 30 is the memory of us walking back to the hotel, knowing that we'd have preferred to carry the night on if it weren't for the rules. But Chancel was adamant, nah, it ain't, it ain't ending here. Like, we may have to go home, but I'm not having it. Um, the rest of us went into Tesco for like a post-night out snack, whereas Chantelle wandered back out with a full pack of Christmas crackers clutched to her, just handed them out to every single person, including people that we just hadn't met before in our entire life. So as you can imagine, us, you know, a bunch of randomers and Chantelle, let's make a night of it, <laughs> which was amazing. It stuck with me for the, it's going to stick with me for the rest of my life. And, um... When Chantelle met Alex, I knew that she had met somebody who would never fail to make a smile. But what I do really admire about Alex is his resourcefulness. Um, a few years ago, we went on a little Airbnb holiday and we needed to make sure that we were stocked up on food because it was a self-catering kind of deal. Uh, but during the organising process, Alex just casually popped into the conversation, don't worry, I'll bring my sauce bag. <laughs> We just accepted that at face value. <laughs> we were like, and he did bring the sauce. He did. You're always in for a saucy treat when Alex is on the scene. I've never seen such an array. Spicy, mild, exotic. And that's really the uh, foundation of a solid marriage. Love, laughs, unwavering support and condiments. <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, I've never seen a couple support one another as much as the way that you two do. And there's so much joy and laughter in your household that you bring that with you both whenever we meet. You've thrived as parents of Ivy, who is uh, growing into a bright, resilient, cheeky little lady, who I'm learning to forgive because she is kind of the reason that we didn't go to RuPaul's Drag Con. Because <laughs> you got yourself knocked up when we were supposed to go to that. So I may or may not remind her of that when she turns 18. But by then, I'm hoping that she'll be going with us by then. So it'll all be good. Um, I can only hope by that time, Pe the Peppa Pig Queen will have entered the drag scene. <laughs> Life complete. Um, I know for a fact that Ivy will have every ounce of support and the love that she needs because you've proved it time and time again during the course of our friendship. I didn't have the privilege of knowing Chantel early on, but I do feel like she came into my life at just the right time when we were both chaotic messes. <laughs> And while we still do have a tendency to be chaotic messes at times, we can talk for hours on end and just set everything to rights. And um, even when we can't figure things out, we're together in that as well. I've never seen anybody go from strength to strength like you have, from the way that you girl boss as a pick and mix tycoon <laughs> to the way you fight for your daughter's well-being and give her the best childhood that she deserves. Plus, you provide me with doggo cuddles now that you're a, your fur baby parents. And if I ever need an example of a solid family unit uh, that I think is an absolute inspiration, uh, I always think of you two. But I do have to say, Alex, I wasn't going to um, share this. Um, <laughs> but, then Alex, but then I got presented with this <laughs> delightful. Um, I kind of got there first. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> The woman in the background is not happy <laughs> that we brought this kind of behaviour into that pub. So um, you'll, you'll always just have to live up to me, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, so I'm going to stop being so soppy now because we all have to, as you say, make a night of it. So, oh, I left my own drink as well. What am I doing? <laughs> God's sake. Oh, yeah, I'll have a beer. OK. Um, so a toast to the tequila queen and the sauce bag. <laughs> Please, everyone, join me in saying, let's make a night of it. Let's make it. Ching ching. There you Thank go. You. <laughs> I swear to God, when I come home, I'm gonna hold you so close. I swear to God, when I come home, I'll never let go. Like a river, I flow. To the ocean I know You pull me close Guiding me home And I need you to know That we're falling so fast We're falling like the stars Falling in love Chantel, I've 
I've known you for 18 years, Alex, Alex less so, but, but you, you feel just as much of a, of a, of a part of the, the family as, as ever. And it's just been magical, I'd say, to watch you grow into the most fabulous mom and dad to, to little Ivy and watching her thrive and you, you fighting for, for, for the most wonderful, fun, wonderful childhood. So, so for us to be a part of your special day today has just been, just been magical. And, and thank you. We wish you all the, all the happiness and the, and the love in the future. Not that we, we can't see already that there is so much happiness and love between, between the two of you. Well, 18 years. Um, obviously, it's not been as long as, I, as I've known you, but um, I think it says a lot that after Amelia and I got together a, a few years ago, we, uh, she's got a lot of great friends, but the, the first, ones that, first ones that she introduced me to were you. Um, and yeah, what, what a brilliant day. As good a public speaker, or even a, if you can call this public speaking, as good a speaker as I like to think I am, I'm not very good with words. But um, honestly, if, if our wedding is as anything close to yours, we'll be really happy with the day. Thank you for inviting us and for putting us up last night, for feeding us very well. And yes. Yes, we love you. We love you. <laughs> we love you. All the best for the future, seriously. You're great people. Thank you. Congratulations, Congratulations Chantal, Chantal and Alex. Alex. I couldn't be happy for the pair of you. Chantel, I've known you since you were baby in arms and I couldn't believe how beautiful and grown up you look today. I'm so happy for the pair of you and thank you so, so much for the invite. We couldn't be happier. Congratulations to you both. It's lovely to have met you and I hope to see you a lot more. Congratulations, Congratulations Alex, Alex and Chantel. Chantel on your big wedding day. We wish you all the best for the future and... Thank you so much for day today, it was amazing. Yeah, it was really good. Thank you so much. Thank you. you say those words with you are safe. We're falling like the stars. We're falling in love. So, good evening to all of you that don't know me. I'm Paul, the father of the bride. I'd just like to thank everybody for being here and making Alex and Chantel's day so much more special. Chantel has given me my orders to make my speech before I'm allowed to drink too much. <laughs> and my brain fog kicks in. <laughs> As most of you know, I'm not a big public speaking sort of person. And the thought of writing a speech made me a bit anxious. But Trish said, just try a few lines. And it really worked. <laughs> 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 but I do have to admit, I have stolen a lot of my speech from the internet. And insert names here are a lovely couple. <laughs> and I do wish them all the best. <laughs> but seriously, I do remember Chantal growing up. All the players that we had to sit through. All, all the reenactment of conv convoluted games. And a love of telling on me to your mum. For every indiscretion, especially when watching telly instead of listening to you read your school books. It's Ivy's turn now. <laughs> so, having a bit of a health scare a few years back, walking Chantel down the aisle was one of the things I was worried that I wouldn't get a chance to do. But seeing her here today, so beautiful. I am proud. To have done it. And you're not just a beautiful bride, Chantel. You're a very determined, remarkable woman and an amazing mother to both Ivy and her furry brother, Sully. <laughs> but every father knows that one day his daughter will find a partner, fly the nest and get married. Every father also wishes his daughter the best of luck and worries about finding the right man, one that will make her happy and look after her. But I've no doubt in Alex she did find that man. Alex is a great lad and both me and Trish are so proud to welcome him to the family. And I do commend Alex for marrying Chantel today, especially after living with us for so long beforehand. <laughs> you really do deserve a medal, fella. <laughs> but I do know that Alex um, loves him with all her heart. And um, they've also given us our little munchkin, Ivy, who's such a remarkable, happy little girl, so cherished and adored by us all. But finally, I will say, after being married myself for over 30 years, I do have some wide words for the happy couple. You do realise what it means to come home to somebody who gives you respect, tenderness and affection. It means you've gone to the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you, 
if you could all join me now and please raise your glasses. That wasn't up for you. <laughs> <laughs> may your love continue to grow and flourish and may your marriage be filled with endless happiness to the happy couple. Congratulations! It happened. We did it. Finally. Did it. Yeah. All the planning paid off. <laughs> yeah. All the stressing. Yeah. And it's been a, an awesome day. Um, I don't know. It's just it's just been awesome. And the sun yeah. came out. And it didn't rain. Yeah. It didn't thunder and lightning and it hail. It's just been perfect. Hasn't Checking it? every hour yeah. paid off. Shout out. Well done. Congrats. <laughs> Um, thank you for letting us be a part of this and yeah. providing. Thank us you. With <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very useful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's been an honour um, to be part of your special day. Yeah, we can all say that. Yeah, and I don't um, think um, the journey ends here, does it? I think you've no. like, you've brought together a group of girls that are quite happily hang out again. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's gonna have to become a thing. And yes, yes. Yeah. please. Yeah. Sorry, Alex. Girl time. Yeah. Yeah. You, but, you know. It wasn't about you. <laughs> yeah. 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 We love you. Hi, uh, Alex and Chantel. Uh, it's lovely to be part of your fantastic day today. The weather's been kind, bright and sunny, just like the relationship between the two of you. Now, obviously, I've known Alex you since you were born, and we've had lots of family times together. And I can now see that you're progressing to your family time and I hope it's as good for you as it has been for us. We've had a fantastic day, it's been lovely, it's been really lovely to be part of it. So thank you for inviting us. Um, yeah, we've known Alex since he was born. We've had some good holidays skiing together uh, at Caribbean. So it's been lovely to have that time to share with you as well as others, um, since Parks and various others. Um, and now it's lovely to see that you matured and you're re ready to now start with your family and have a lovely family time. Yeah, good luck Mr and Mrs Brown. Yeah. Alex and Chantel. It's been a lovely day, thank you for inviting thank me. Thank you again. It was lovely to meet Alex originally when he first came to, well, Andrew's 50th. Andrew's 50th, And remember? then to all our mad parties after that. Yes. And, and bringing Sully which brought even Sully, more you better joy. Yeah, to it the was parties. Halloween party. We're dressed yeah. up as a were it pumpkin? I don't know. No, Ivy was a pumpkin. Well, Ivy. Yeah. But oh no, you were, yeah, you was dressed up as well. Yeah, you were, so they were dressed um, up as a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. and but no. I will say now, there's going to be many more parties, and yes. we hope that you both come to all of them, and Ivy especially. And remember, for Tyler's and Chantel, your thirtieth. But remember, most of all, we love you. Yes. We love you both. And we've got a big party coming up again. <laughs> So you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, everyone. So I had prepared a really good speech for you today, but unfortunately now I'm married, I've been told to read this one instead. <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost, um, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to everyone joining us today. Your presence means the world to us. Um, and, we're <laughs> and we're really happy to share this moment with you. We wouldn't be here without the love and support of all our friends and family. <laughs> and seeing you here today is really overwhelming. Five and a half years ago, I drove into a, a car park on the outskirts of York on a Friday night in April. Little did I know right away my life was about to change in the most extraordinary way. <laughs> Fast forward, we've got a beautiful little girl. <laughs> the dopiest, fluffiest dog. <laughs> and of course, Percy the guinea pig. Chantel, you are a, a remarkable woman. You bring out the best in me and together we have grown into the better people. Our journey has been one of mutual support, love, and an unbreakable bond that only strengthens with time. Your caring nature, passion and unwavering dedication to our family have not only made me a better person, but have also created a loving and nature environment for Ivy. <laughs> I'm so grateful to call you now in my wife. Your ability to handle everything with grace, from the chaos of parenthood to the smallest everyday challenges, never ceases to amaze me. You manage to juggle it all while still making 
time to support me and the glue, and you are the glue that holds us all together, including Sully. <laughs> Your strength and resilience inspire me every day. And watching you with Ivy is one of the greatest joys of my life. The way you nurture her teacher and love her is a testament to the incredible person you are. <laughs> it turns out I've married Mrs. Wright. I just know her first name was always. <laughs> um, to our family and friends, your support and love is a constant source for strength for us. So thank you for your encouragement, your laughter and your belief in us. It's because of you that today is so special, and we are honoured to have you all here to share our joy. You've been with us through thick and thin, and we look to, forward to many more memories together. As we embark on this new chapter together, I would look forward to a lifetime of adventures, growth, and cherished moments. Chantal, I've already said this once, but I promise to love you, honour you, and support you every step of the way. So here's to a future filled with love, laughter, and endless happiness. Please raise your glasses to love family and an incredible journey ahead and i've been told this we almost now go to the top bar so we can party <laughs> so here's to partying Look how far we've come.